I am Matthew Bryant, a yacht broker with Denison Yacht Sales out of our San Diego, California office. In the sailing world, there's uh, multi-hulls and monohulls, and I really gravitated towards the multi-hulls for a number of reasons. There's a couple of inherent differences between them, and one of the big things is that multi-hulls, the stability comes from the width between the two hulls and not a keel under the boat, and in practical terms, that means that the multi-hulls sail flat. That's the maximum stability is at rest at the dock. And in a monohull, you have to heel the boat over 15, 20 plus degrees until you achieve stability it changes your whole world. When you're sailing for a long time at 20 degrees a heel and everything you do is 20 degrees off, it just changes things quite a bit. So multi-hulls are really cool that way, a bit more comfortable. The space per foot on a multi-hull versus a monohull allows a lot more creature comfort and accommodation. You can really get a much bigger platform in a 40 foot, let's say, uh, catamaran than you can a 40 foot monohull. And that leads to all kinds of lifestyle choices. You can bring all kinds of stuff that you want, toys that you want, and really not have to make too many compromises once you leave the dock, which is pretty cool. Another thing about multi-hulls is that they're fast. The stability comes from the width, not weight. Weight is the enemy of speed, so in general, multi-hulls are a bit faster. In practical terms, too, if you're making a passage and you can do 300 mile days instead of 150 mile days, you get there twice as fast, twice as much time to enjoy the islands or whatever you're gonna do. Just like in a power boat with a twin screw, you have two motors in a, in a multi-hull or in a catamaran that are set a fair distance apart. Having that twin screw ability means that you can pivot the boat really on a dime. Uh, you can use the two motors against themselves and get the catamarans in and out of quite tight spaces. It takes a little bit of practice just like anything else, but once people get the hang of that, that really is something that is a, a big benefit in, in multi-hull land. Uh, it's rare to see boats with bow thrusters unless you get much up to over 50 or 60 feet. And you know, even, even in some boats over that size, it's, they, they opt not to because you do have a fair amount of control with the twin screws being set at 20 plus feet apart. Multi-hulls are coming online uh, with production builds and really legitimate designs, legitimate construction techniques, and really kind of changed and opened up the whole world of production multi-hull ownership and or buying. I am Matthew Bryant, a yacht broker with Denison Yacht Sales out of our San Diego, California office.